What's going on everyone? CJC presents Wando Workouts and Anime. We are here with Roger's first mates. And we are going to do a mission that suits him best. A sword to challenge the strongest. I think it makes sense. Really is a swordsman. And here he is. In all of his glory. Majestical ass hair man. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a look at his growth map, and we are going to see what he has. All right, I'll put this to good use. Interesting. Shoot some bullets. Okay. Don't cross this line. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I, I like the title of that. Uh, never doubt. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh, okay. So this is like the hockey, I guess. Okay, or observation hockey. Okay. Entertain me. All right. Don't say it. Don't do it. <laughs> That's an interesting title. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Power to intimidate the enemy. Okay, that's basically conquerors hockey. Just uh, a different way to say it. That's cool. I like that. And that's it. So we're gonna level him up, and I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. All right. So I actually don't have enough, and I think this is fine. Like we're broken as is. I mean, we're over level 20 with just soul maps alone, so I think this is fine. Um, let's take a look at our ultimates. Don't cross this line, that looks really good. So it's interesting that Roger's stuff is like 2 star and like the Conqueror's Hockey Strike. The Conqueror's Strike is a 4 star. Everything else is mostly like 2 stars. Um, so it's interesting. And they're still very powerful, don't get me wrong. They are very powerful 1 star, 2 stars. But then, you know, you see Rayleigh... And it's a traditional three-star, you know, four-star. Um, just me trying to uh, build. I think that's good enough. And then we're going to build his skills, and I'm going to be right back. All right, we're here. Rage of Line. Heat up. Worked up. Devotion. Might as well. Fulver's Burst. Great Pirate's Air, which is great for technique types. Power Overwhelming, of course. Sovereign Strength. That's a given. Cheat Death. Undying. Giant Fist. So, these are the skills that I have, um, especially with the newer stuff. Devotion, I usually just use Resilience, but, you know, I don't know if Devotion or Resilience have, like, a combining effect. So, we'll see how it goes. But here's Rayleigh in all of his glory. Here's his taunt. He puts his glasses up, takes a quick swig, and then he puts his glasses down. Alright. Oh! Pirates! Alright, let's see how he fights, because I am very curious. Okay, so there's this dark cloud next to them. Okay. I'm just, I just want to see like, what he did. Yo. Hold up. This is a technique type? Are you serious? I kid you not, he plays or he feels like a power type. This is incredible. A speed type is doing this. Or, I'm sorry, a technique type is doing this. And mind you, like, I didn't max out his levels or anything. You know, this is a level 17 mission. I'm, like, level 20. I just want to see his combos. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that icon's unique to him. I don't know. Um. And he has airborne stuff, too. Man, Rayleigh's tough, dude. Rayleigh's tough. I love how he plays. For a technique type, guys. A technique type is doing this. Come on now. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I love how he... It, it's incredible uh, as to how he feels. I think... I just wish they did this for all technique types, right? Like, for me, um, some, some of the ones that come to mind... Um, Hancock is pretty powerful as a technique type. Aokiji is really powerful as a technique type. And I know Uta got a buff uh, in the recent patch notes, but I don't play as Uta, Uta that often. Uta. Uh, <laughs> I don't play as Uta as that often, so I can't really uh, tell you. Um, oh, that's a sick move. Oh, is that the finger thing that he does? Oh, if he does, that's sick. Okay, so once you affect enemies, you do the triangle, and it's like a hockey um, sword strike. 
That's sick, dude. Yo, this is so cool, man. I love how Ray. I think. Huh. This DLC pack has been cooking, man. If you guys saw my last video with Roger, Roger was just so explosive, man. Holy. I really like how these play, man. These feel incredible. Very powerful. Oh, okay. So once you do that hockey strike. Then you draw everyone in. Dude, he's a fucking technique type. Like, I wish this is how they did technique types in terms of power. Right, because you can have these status effects and manipulate the status effects and still have a strong ass character. And again, maybe it's because of all the, the extra skills <laughs> that I have equipped on Rayleigh, but man, he plays so good. And does he have a unique dialogue with Mihawk? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't think so. Alright, so let's see this ultimate here. Ooh, what? That was sick! Yo, Rayleigh plays so good, dude. What? Okay, so Zoro appeared. I'm curious if he has one with Zoro, if they showcase it. Maybe I should be slower, but... Man, Rayleigh is so much fun to play as. Are you kidding me? Okay, Katakuri. Let's see what he says to Katakuri. If he has one. Does he have one with Pedal Spedal? I don't imagine. Yeah, no, not really. Okay. Uh, Alright, Brooks doesn't have one. Yeah, man. Rayleigh is dirty. Let me see. I love that. He's like, yeah, I, I think you got power for hockey, but can you fuck with me, dude? What? Come on, man. Dude, this is such a fun DLC. This really is. They they did these characters justice. I genuinely think. Off the rip. Probably the best DLC we've got. If I'm just being honest. If I'm just being honest, best deal we've got, for sure. Because who else would come to mind? I mean, the Onigashima pack was really good. Really great characters. I definitely like DLC pack 5, but honestly, it's really only Shanks and Kobe for me. Again, Uta doesn't do it for me that much. Um, here we go, full force burst. Nice. Man, oh man, dude! Very destructive. Oh, oh Brook froze him and it got the status effect of me doing the stuff to him. Yo, man. Really so dirty. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, like, I don't play Uta that, that often, um, so it's hard for me to say if that's like the best DLC pack. Um, definitely this one for sure. I mean, I haven't played this Garp yet, so we'll see. Um, but this one, 100%, number one. Number two, Battle for Onigashima, Rooftop Battle. Uh, I'm curious, does he have dialogue with Zoro? Does he have dialogue with Zoro? Uh, uh not really, okay. Interesting. That's a little disappointing, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, what would be number three for me? Honestly, either the worst generation. Actually, no, that's a lie. The Whole Cake Island, for sure, was probably the best uh, DLC for me. Because believe it or not, Judge is one of the best Sky types, and I'm the biggest fan of Sky types. I like Kizaru. Um, what's the Sky type? Of course, Luffy's transformations. Um, Luchi is okay as a sky type. Um, I think the coolest was a sky type in the game. Smoker, I think, but he was meh. He was like a B, I'm just being honest. A glorified technique type. <laughs> but, yeah, I would probably say. Uh oh. <coughs> What's the thing? 
Yeah, you know, I would probably put the whole Geek Island as number three. Um, Smoothie's really good. I love Cracker. Um, as a speed type. Really interesting abilities as well. And I, I don't know if they ever fixed that bug. Um, I know some of you guys in the comments were telling me he has a bug where you can, like, uh, stay in the armored state. So, I don't know. I never tried it out, so I wouldn't know. Um... Yeah, let's see what else. Oh, and then, of course, Judge. I think Judge is one of the best guy types in the game. Oh, you know, I can't believe I forgot the, um... <laughs> Freaking, uh... Joe has double six. They're all sky types. I just want to take over this land for... And German Double Six are like great characters, like oh, like you know, S through D tier, they they're A tier characters for sure. German Double Six, so I would definitely, uh, yeah. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, Judge is really good. Um, and then fourth, who would I put fourth? Um, who would I put fourth? I think. Yeah, for me, fourth, it's either worst generation or the Odin pack. I haven't played as um, Pienmon, but Okiku is so devastating as a speed type. And then, of course, Odin. I mean, Od Odin is S tier, for sure. So, let me go find. Uh, oh, that's out the way. Yeah, just looking around here. Oh. Yeah, I think we just can wait a little. That's fine. He won't die immediately. Yeah, I won't. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, let's, uh, let's go find Usopp. Uh, find out how to go the right way. I wish there was a way to connect to the top instead of, like, if you're on the other side of the map, then you're kind of fucked. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I'll go land the Wano. And then probably worst ge uh, generation I put last. Don't get me wrong, though. I love playing against extra. Drake? Oh my god. No way that ultimate did it. Are you kidding me? Well, forget whatever I was going to say. Um, I'm actually surprised that ultimate did it. Holy shit. Oh, with that being said, next video, we have Garp on deck. See you there and in the comment section below. Peace.